Loki, Season 2, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called Glorious Purpose. So this would appear to be the very last episode of this entire show, so I will be doing my spoiler-free review as soon as I've recorded this video. Certainly, I do think that it's a satisfying conclusion for the various characters. I did feel like Ravona was a little underused here in the last several episodes of the show, of, the, of this season, but, yeah, you know, she she spent all these all this time, you know, pruning and demanding pruned, you know, these variants, and she ends up pruned herself, and seemingly devoured by Elioth, as she has condemned many to over the years. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think it was fully satisfying her attempt to... to take over, you know, take, take back control, that kind of thing, this season. Maybe there's some stuff on the cutting room floor, maybe they had to change stuff, but I do think that ending it with the character like that overall is satisfying. Mobius goes to see the his, his life on the timeline, and Sylvie is pleased with that, and she's also, you know, she's free with the purchase of two or more, and... Loki finally became a god, as he had been trying to his whole life, or, or god king. He's been a god his whole life, but a god king, you know, yeah. And yes, let's get into the specifics. So yeah, the the opening with the logos really build up some some tension. Very nice and. Yeah, so we're back to, yeah, Loki time slips to bat before Victor dies. At first I was a little unsure, like once we saw that they were unable to prevent, even when Loki gets Victor timely all the way to the end, still doesn't accomplish the thing that they thought. You know, at first I was like, are we really going to spend this much time on, but, you know, it's building, like thematically the episode is about that there really is only the one answer that he accepts by the end of the episode, even though it means he's alone again. And the, the you know, he knows it means the, the all these variants on the, the timeline, all the, all, the, all the branched timelines, you know, yeah, they, they don't get their happy ending, and his ending isn't happy either. And let's see, then we have the, um, yeah, and yeah, the, you know, Loki gets the answer out of OB, it took too long, that's why they failed, and we get a classic score montage, you know, must go faster, okay, must try earlier then, a lot of gnarly deaths for Victor, um, yeah, pay your animators more, Marvel. They they really earned it with with this one. And I like you know Sylvie's like Loki. Why are you being so weird? I mean, different weird from normal Loki. And let's see. Yeah, and you know Loki explains to to you know he still says you know. This looks like Mobius, but it's actually you, Victor. You have to wear this suit. And and Victor is like, what is this, a suit for ants? It has to be at least three times bigger. And threw it on the ground. And the, let's see. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate it. This is sort of like Back to the Future Part 2, the episode, or Groundhog Day, or, or like a video game speed run kind of thing. A lot of fun. And, yeah, you know, how long would it take to learn all this? Decades. Cent centuries. Centuries later, just holy crap. I volunteer. I volunteer Kappa. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and the the relief when Victor seems to have made it, and the readings are off. And, yeah, 
you know, it's, it's a scaling problem. You can't scale for infinite. It's like dividing by zero. And yeah, it was doomed to happen when the branches started. Sylvie, stop right now. Thank you very much. And she keeps saying, you'll have to kill me. And yeah, like he he can't bring himself to to do that. You know, he he ends up becoming he who remains instead of of killing her. And that is definitely she deserves a happy ending and you know, her more than anyone on this show deserves a happy ending. Her life has been much harder than than Loki's and she's done much less to deserve anything bad happening to her and yeah you know we've been wondering so what exactly why was she being you know in, in season one she asks Renslayer you know what was I pruned for what was my um, yeah what did, what did I do to, to, to create a, a branch and Renslayer says I don't I don't remember or something like that. At the time, I was like, she definitely remembers. She's just being cruel. But I think, you know, based on this season, she didn't know. She had just been told by the timekeepers. And ultimately, it was because a Loki was destined to become He Who Remains. And it was either going to be Sylvie or the Loki that we've been following this entire, th these two seasons, you know, the one that came from 2012. And, yeah, you know, trying to prune her meant that she was either going to, you know, yeah, basically, when, the, the there were only two ways that, you know, uh, um, He Who Remains tells them, if you, you know, you're either going to kill me or you're going to, which, you know, causes the multiversal war, or you're going to replace me. I, th as far as I can tell from this episode, he was, you know, he, he knew that he had to, it's, it's a, it's a false choice. Ultimately, one way or another, there will be a he who remains. And he knew that if he told Sylvie, you have to kill me, she's going to kill him. And Loki surviving all of this, seeing his his friends die over and over, he's gonna end up agreeing to become He Who Remains, and Jonathan Majors, He Who Remains, was okay with that as long as there is a He Who Remains, it doesn't have to be him, you know. Again, my interpretation. I you know, please share your counter theory if you disagree. And then we have the, yeah, a, a montage of Sylvie and Loki fighting. Very nicely done. Right, just briefly, I liked in the in the other montage where, like, he, you know, he's going back earlier. So he goes in and he says, Miss Minutes, I know you're very hurt right now. Just, that was very funny. That That is one thing. I... I don't know how they would have fit it in, but I, I miss Miss Minutes. I'm going to miss Miss Minutes. And then we have the... Uh, yeah, you know, he who remains... Let's see. The Kang who remains talks to, to Loki, and I do really appreciate, like, you know, he's like, what, you haven't figured out, you know, pausing? She's kind of in the eye line, let's just get rid of her, and just, yeah, you know, is this really the first time we're having this conversation? Later, he's like, you don't actually think this is the first time we're having this conversation, and yeah, gradually, you know, they're getting to a point where, yeah, you know, he, he Kang Who Remains explains it, to Loki who remains, Loki soon to be Loki who remains, the god previously known as simply Loki, and yeah, you know, he was the one who made the time slipping happen. It was his, that was his backup plan, or his plan, period. 
and then we have yeah, and he explains you know, the the temporal loom. You know his yeah the the reason that he had it built the way it was. You lose, and I'm really glad we got one more scene of Mobius and Loki talking and. Yeah, you know, they go back and we pretty quickly get past, you know, but today, in 2023, we audiences don't really need to say, okay, oh, it's the same. No, we get it. It's the same. And yeah, pretty quickly, you know, Loki says a bunch of stuff that Moby is, is about to say. And he's like, oh, wow, someone shared the set list, I guess. But yeah, he explains, you know, there was this eight-year-old boy who was going to cause 5,000, you know, yeah, a variant was going to cause 5,000 deaths, turned out to be an eight-year-old boy, you know, purpose is more burden than glorious, and it was Ravona who hesitated, and the, the, yeah, just, it's, it's legitimately really, heartbreaking to hear you know that's why she's been so determined all this time and let's see yeah and yet again loki is alone but he does shake mobius's hand before and yeah so he talks to sylvie and she's like i'm not giving you my blessing you know and she talks about it and points out it's okay to destroy some things which is a, a very important, you know, we got to get away from this idea that, like, it is worse to destroy a bad thing than to simply let it continue to hurt people. And that, you know, that is part of progressive politics today, is understanding that distinction. And, yeah, Loki you know, goes and, and opens the, the thing and the, the, you know, goes out on the, the, to, to deal with the, the branches in person, gets himself a horny helmet and yeah, you know, the, there's the line, he's, he's giving us a chance. And I do, as a, as a lover of, of Norse myth, myth I do really love that he forms Yggdrasil, the world tree, at the end. And, yeah, we go to After, which is my favorite of the, the location and time, you know, things of this entire, of these 12 episodes. And, <laughs> you know, Hunter... B-15 is like, how do we know that Miss Minutes isn't going to attack us again? You know, try to kill us all, and Obi just shrugs. It's very fun. Love seeing Casey who's so confident. You know, there's the, the thing about, you know, uh, let, let them know that I'll be in the, the room just a minute, and Casey's like, I'll do, I'll do you one better. I'll save you a seat. You know, just, we've never seen, we've seen Frank this confident, but never Casey. Love to see it. And, and you can understand why he would be much more confident after this crisis had been averted. And, yeah, Loki is Loki who remains, Loki he who remains, and, yeah, the, the you know, they're looking at variants that might, you know, maybe they'll one day replace him, maybe in the, the short term, at least one of them will be able to create a bunch of branches, restart the the multiversal war, you know, yeah, and yeah, uh, there there had been some some people here on YouTube who had theorized, you know, oh, this entire season, maybe maybe both seasons in you know one big time loop, and yeah, this basically, yeah, the the. The entire reason that, that Loki was ever singled out was that he might, you know, yeah, he's either going to unleash unleash the multiverse or he's going to 
become he who remains. Although, I mean, we know that there's multiversal stuff happening in the MCU. I guess, yeah. You know, I, I just yesterday I watched the Marvels, and I talked about in the my video for that. You know, the, the, the continuity is not holding up as much recently in the MCU as it used to. We, we know that they're going to do more multiverse stuff. I'm not sure they're going to undo this ending. I guess maybe they're going to be like, oh, you know, this other multiverse stuff is not going to, like... No, yeah, because we, like, Kang is coming. Yeah, I... I... I guess it's, you know, when when you have an ongoing franchise like this, not every ending is going to get to be final. Maybe maybe Loki will pop up after all the after the resolution of all the multiverse stuff and he's going to be like, "Okay, we done, we set cuz I got a you know, I got a world tree to form here. Let's let's cool it on on all this multiverse nonsense." Which is what some critics and audiences have been saying recently. And... Yeah, I, I like the thing, you know, Mobius is leaving, and you know, he's like, who's gonna miss, you know, and, and Hunter B-15 just says, I think one or two might, you know, it's, it's a sweet little moment, you know, because, like, it would almost be too corny if she was like, I'm gonna miss you, come on, big hug, you know, but just, yeah. And, yeah, he's like, you know, I have to see what we're protecting. And, yeah, you know, it, it is sweet, him him watching the, you know, from, from afar. And we see that Victor Timely lives a normal life. OB wrote the book, and, yeah, the, you know, Ravona dies by a lieth. The Yacht could use some work. See, Brits always have a nice, you know, snarky comment for, for any kind of situation, you know, no matter how, like, sweet and, and just, but, but no. A really great way to close off these characters. And I think that is everything that I have to say. I, I love the... the choice of title, you know, this entire show has explored, you know, what is Loki's purpose, and is it glorious? As he used to say, he, he used to be confident about, and yeah, so gonna, gonna do the review momentarily, um, Yes. And the... Yeah. In, in closing, most purpose is more burden than glory. And trust me, you never want to be the guy who avoids it because you can't live with the burden. How do you live with it? Scar tissue. <laughs>